Hello YouTube modeling community, Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Just wanted to do a, a bench update on the P1. It's been uh, two, three weeks, so I just want to kind of fill you in on uh, everything that's gotten done on her. As you can see in the background, uh, she's back in red, so that's that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember which door panel. Uh, let me see if I can get the light over here more. I had done last time, but they are they are both done as far as the carbon fiber goes. <clears throat> I mean, they're not done done yet because I'll still have to come in and <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Uh, I'm going to semi gloss over all the interior parts and then I'll come in and I'll do all the detail painting. Uh, but uh, there's the carbon on that. So, like I said, both those door panels are done. Got the seats done. I end up in breaking these into, I, I had it as one big piece on my template. I still need to cut this out. Um, one big piece on my template. Am I on the camera? Yeah. But I end up having to cut it into three. And uh, because of just, it, once it got to where it, in, in, it indents here a little bit, I don't know if the camera picks it up, and indents here, it just it kind of set it off. You know, tape stretches and gives a little more. So when you're making templates, it doesn't always match up because, you know, the, the decals don't stretch the same way. But uh, again, you know, got the seat done. Uh, last time I showed you the dash, I had the top done. Well, now the uh, the bottom is complete. Uh, so that's, you know, that it was a chore. Ended up making it into five different pieces, but that's the, neither here nor there. Uh, but that that is done. All I have left, because uh, you've seen everything else, the bucket and the center consoles and stuff, is I need to come in on the, see if I can get close enough, I need to come up this side with a carbon decal, and then there's two, there's a you know there's a row of buttons here, and the these spokes are carbon fiber as well, and then it's uh, from there it's tan and it's black, but I'll hand paint I'll hand paint that. I just gotta finish getting the decals down. So like I said, once that's done, I'll semi gloss over it, and then I can start uh, detail painting it, and then start the uh, you know putting the interior together. All right, last time. Um, Last update I did, I had this side done, and I had just this nose piece because I showed you that, uh, you know, the way the carbon fiber decal sheet is, you can only, uh, to do the, the I don't know if there's a name for it, but like the, the arrow style, <clears throat> uh, you have to turn the, uh, you know, the, the, the decal sheet from lengthwise to widthwise. So I had to make this as one big piece as the best I could, and I, it came down to about here, and then I had to piece in in between the diffuser. So that's all, as you can see, that is all done. Let me back it up a little bit. And uh, so I, I couldn't be happier. I came in because you'll see these through the wheel wells. Yes, the wheels will be in front of it, but uh, I just wanted it to be cohesive because I wanted to put in carbon fiber in the wheel wells on the body as well. And I got the top surfaces done as well. So this is a great, uh, a good step. I, I, I couldn't be happier to be done with it. I'll come in, I'll 2K clear it because this all needs to be shiny. And then it's, I'll probably mask off right here or I, I don't know how, how I'll do it, but I'll make all this flat. I just can't imagine the whole thing's glossy and, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, no reference pictures on it except for, you can see this on the car and this is shiny. So, uh, you know, there's there's that. So couldn't be happier. All right, guys. And then uh, last. Oh, I started on the nose piece. Uh, I've got my first two pieces of carbon down. I don't know if the light shows it. Um, but I uh, got the the one that goes this way and this way. Got to split it because, like I said, I'm doing the... the I don't know, like, again, you know, I don't know if there's a name for it, but the arrow look or the pointy look... Uh, all right, on the body, it's it's in red again, uh, three gold, uh, four red, and uh, there's no no scratch anymore, guys. So that's all that's all done. But uh, there's there's the body, and I decided to go. You know, I had this painted gloss black because I was going to carbon fiber it, but I was looking at uh, you know the car I'm I'm, I'm kind of replicating or using as my biggest reference. Uh, it's body color, and I kind of like the way. It's smooth versus, you know, you put the fin up and it, it kind of interrupts the lines. And uh, I just, after thinking about it and looking at it and staring at it for a while, 
I just thought it looked better in red or body color. So anyway, anyways, guys, that's uh, kind of where the P1 stands. Just wanted to share with y'all before I, you know, continue to progress farther. Um, uh, thumbs up, thumbs downs, questions, comments, you know, I enjoy them. Uh, you know, and if you're thinking about getting an alpha kit for yourself or, you know, any, any kit supplies or, you know, it can Revell AMT to me and anything, you know, not just alpha, uh, but they do carry alpha kits. Go check out upscale hobbies. They, uh, I will put the, uh, uh, I'll put the link in the description. So all you got to do is click on it and go check out their website. Uh, just, they're the only distributor for, uh, alpha kits in the United States. So you'll, you'll s save on shipping. Um, if, if you go through them versus, you know, ordering from China. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I uh, just want to wrap it up. Don't want to take too much of your time. Y'all take care. God bless. And I will see you on Thursday. All right, Mike out.